Hey everybody, final thoughts time for Derengia, which was a run through brought to you by one of my Kickstarter backers, Patricio Mendez. Patricio, hopefully you enjoyed this run through. Hopefully it lets you know whether this is a game we're tracking down because it's going to be a hard game to find. I only had a very, very tiny print run and it's tough to get now. But Jen and I are happy we have a copy because we think it's a really solid little deduction game, which amazingly works well with two. And that's not something you see very often. Um, you know, that, that fundamental decision that the entire game crux upon. Oh yeah, we're both fellow detectives. Oh, you need some help from me. Will I give you that help? Because if I do, I might be potentially giving you a point which will go towards tiebreakers or, uh, you know, and it also, the quicker you get clues, the more likely you are to uncover whether my clues are correct. But on the other hand, if I don't help you, then you're going to get more information because you can draw a blind from the deck so you know more than I do now. If I give you something, at least I know what that was and I can make informed deductions about what you do in the future based on the fact that I know you've got that card in your hand. So it behooves me to give it to you, but it also doesn't because I don't want you to score those clues. And you know, that's just, that just works really, really nicely. It's a very, very interesting modern take on Go Fish. And it's funny too, I mean, it really does have kind of a very nostalgic feel. Do you have any W's? Go Fish. I mean, that, that just works really, really nicely. About my only complaint about this game, I have to admit, is it, it's a shame it didn't come in a slightly bigger box with actually like, um, you know, uh, uh, cards. They're laminated so that you could actually like write on them and just kind of dry wipe them off rather than having to take notes. I mean, don't get me wrong. Actually, I enjoy taking the notes in this game quite a bit. And, you know, because again, it, it kind of gives you that thematic feel of being a detective, going around all these places, you know, making notes of what you know and what you've seen and trying to put the whole thing together. I like taking notes in this game, but it would have been nice to just have, you know, some component support for that rather than just having to use post-it notes and whatnot. But that's a minor complaint. And, um, you know, I'm really, that's my only one. It, it, it's fast, it's smooth. I've only played it as a two-player game and a three-player game. And to be honest, Jen, I enjoyed it more as a two-player game. It goes up to six. And I know at the higher player counts, you add this assassin card. I don't, I've never really read the rules for how it works. But, uh, you know, apparently it supports very, very high player counts. And... Really, there's not much for me to say, Patricio. We like it. And uh, good luck on finding a copy out there, folks, because it had the smallest print run in the world. It's going to be very, very difficult to track down now, but it's a neat little game. Definitely one that I think warrants a reprint somewhere down the road. But that's it, folks. Thanks for watching. Now, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, as always, please let me know. Otherwise, have a very, very nice day. Talk to you later. So long. Uh, bye bye